welcome to the Art of the Throw, where we will be looking at how to ruin your opponent's day with King. In the first chapter, we will be discussing a unique approach to Giant Swing. Everyone knows that Giant Swing is King's best low, but what happens when you feel like your opponent can break every single one? Chances are, they're able to break it based on how you're approaching them. They could probably tell the difference between a dash giant swing and a shining wizard. In this video, I'll show you some techniques you can use to turn your opponent's intuition against them. When faced with a throw mix-up, your opponent tends to do one of three things. They either just guess what throw it is, try to avoid getting thrown at all costs, or they react to the animations leading up to the throw. For those that try to guess, you could easily catch them guessing wrong by being as unpredictable as possible. For those that try to mash their way out of having to break the throw, King has a ton of fast tracking mids that work really well. But for those that react to the animations leading up to your throw, it can get tricky to try to get them to stick. They know that it'll have to take a few extra frames to input a shining wizard. And so if there was no delay, then they would know that it was a giant swing instead. They can also tell if you're dashing up into a giant swing. The animation just does not look as smooth as a shining wizard. It looks awkward because of that half circle forward input that you have to do. So the following technique is meant to trip those people up. When you hold forward for a few frames after recovery, it vaguely looks like you're running. At least for the first few frames. So, let's go over how to make this look like a shining wizard. First, you gotta input anything that's gonna put you into recovery frames. It's really important that you wait until the move connects before you input anything. You input the forward half circle forward directional input during your recovery. But instead of buffering the forward plus one, you hold forward for just a few frames, roughly five to seven. Five to seven frames after your recovery, you finally press one to complete the giant swing input. Since you held forward for five to seven frames, it sorta looks like you started the running animation. And since you delayed your giant swing, the timing is similar to that of the instant shining wizard. It isn't perfect, but it's enough to get your opponent to start second guessing. Let's do an exercise to see how similar these two throws can be. The technique I used in this clip was not perfect. Giant Swing was coming out two frames too slow. Here's a video with the same technique but with perfect timing. If you can get the timing just right, you can make it look really convincing. Here it is again in full speed. Just look at this! Doing this technique will also allow you to track sidestepping and catch backdashing, even if you're minus one. That's because holding forward realigns you with your opponent, and it gives your move a little extra range. Here, take counter hit four for example. You can only do a giant swing if you hold forward for about one to three frames. Otherwise, you'll drop it. And this wall combo right here. The only way you're gonna land the giant swing is if you hold forward for those few extra frames. If not, then the throw will not land. That's pretty much all I want to talk about with respect to that. In the next video, I'll be going over some optimal Okazemi options for all of King's throws. 
so subscribe to stay up to date on the cutting edge of King Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. Soul loves you.